you guys, logic of English, okay? Can we just talk about logic of English? Where have you been all my homeschool life? Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to share with you guys a homeschool update. And then I think my next video, um, I think the next video that I'm gonna share is probably books that I have read over the last couple months because I know I was kind of doing like wrap ups, um, but then I didn't film for a while. So I have a ton of books that I wanted to share that I read with, uh, that I read. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe a part one and a part two, and then, you know, maybe a March reading wrap up. Uh, but anyway, uh, today I'm going to share with you an update of how everything has been going. So if you want to see this, then stick around. If you are here for the first time, um, my name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to five kids. I have a 12 year old, a seven year old, a six year old, a, a four year old and a three year old. And I love to share content on homeschool and I like to talk about books and yeah, my faith in Christ and stuff like that. So if you guys like content like that, then be sure to subscribe. Um, I'm not really, I just got back into filming, so I'm not really sure how often I'm going to be filming. We'll see. I did just recently do an update video on my life, so if you kind of want to know, you know, any of that, I'll post it. Okay, so where to start? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I'll start with my oldest. So, math. You guys, if you have been following my channel for any amount of time, you will know that math was like... Eh, a struggle in our house with my oldest. I mean, we tried probably four different math curriculums. Oh, this might be our fourth, actually. We switched to Math UC this year, and um, pretty much, I don't know what it was, but once we got to multiplication, it was just harder for him for some reason. So we switched to Matthew C and he loves he said his favorite subject is now math you guys he went from hating math I mean hating it to it being his favorite subject now he loves math and sometimes he even does you know multiple pages a day he really likes it I like it because he likes it. <laughs> so yeah, we have been liking this and he is almost done with it. Um, and actually what I've been doing, he's definitely more than halfway through it and you don't even use all these. And what I did, because I didn't know if I was ever gonna use this with any of my other kids and these books are like $40. And I am a penny pincher as much as I can be. So what I do is I take them out and my printer is, I just feel like I would, it would be more cost effective to just print the, like copy these out and then through my printer. So that's what I do, I just uh, copy them and then I put them in his binder and then I hole punch them and these are the ones that he's already done, but they're blank because I don't know if we'll ever use this again in our house, but if we do, I have it right here. So there is that. So math has been going great. Language arts, pretty great. I told you that last year he started the good and beautiful level three that helped him so much in his writing. So much so that this year they were having him do a story in, um, in level four. And I'm so proud of him. And I just feel like this has helped him even in him um, writing his in his own time, just writing stories and stuff. So I am very happy with language arts. There's a lot in The Good and the Beautiful that I skip, like the readers and stuff like that. He wasn't really into that, so he doesn't even do any of that. He doesn't, he's not really into the baking or the art projects in it. So he pretty much does the grammar stuff and the writing. So I'm not sure if we're gonna stick with the good and the beautiful for next year or just try something for grammar and writing. I was also thinking of maybe just trying to do a copy work because I, when the more I research how good copy work is, 
I almost just want to do that for language arts for him because you can learn so much from copying other people's, um, you know, just doing copy work. And then um, I was going to have him do the not consumed. Um, you guys, I have a lot of ambition to do a lot of things. And then when I, it comes down to it, I like some of this stuff is just so overwhelming to me. I just have to knock it off. Like, and you know, I think I still will use it. It's the not consumed. Um, uh, what is it called? I don't even know. I shared it a while ago that I, I was going to do it. Talking about um, like missionaries and stuff. I can't remember. Anyway, we are not doing that. But we are reading about missionaries, so I'm happy about that. Okay, so for social studies, um, we were doing, uh, or, and geography, uh, we were doing Children Around the World, and this is by Winter Promise, and I really do like this curriculum, but um, I just am like, the, okay, it comes with, I know I was supposed to do a flip through of this, but, and I haven't yet, but it comes with this other book that I printed all of the information out on. It was like the reader and it is kind of told in more of a Charlotte Mason style, but I don't know what it is for me personally, but I, and I think Nathan is like this too. I, I like to actually pick up an actual book and read it versus someone else's uh curriculum because i was kind of like this with gather around like you read the information and even though it was charlotte mason based it still just wasn't doing it for me i think i just like that the physical book but i do like some of the stuff in this um uh i did like i liked the travel notebook that it came with that we did so we got up to week what did we do week 17 I think we did up to week 17. Um, so we are almost, we did get through half of this. So I'm happy about that. And what I did is I actually, cause I was doing torchlight with my younger kiddos. And what I decided to do, if you see all these tabs, I marked them to match up with this so that we were learning the same thing at the same time. And then at the end of the week, if we did some sort of cultural party or whatever, or tea time, they would match up and, you know, we would be talking about the same thing. So we pretty much went through all, not all of Europe, but we pretty much have only done Europe. And there was so many countries in Europe that we did, and it was fun. My kid's favorite was probably France and, um, because they love the Eiffel Tower. I mean, even Joy, my three-year-old, was like, the Eiffel Tower! And it was so funny because when we would learn about these monuments, they would watch something like Puppy Dog Pals and they would be like, look, Mom, it's the Eiffel Tower! Or j they would just tell me these and they would be so excited. Or once they, they watched like Mickey and the Roadster Racers, and they saw Big Ben in there and they were freaking out and they were they knew what it was. So I'm happy about that. I mean, I like, um, and we did do some of the read alouds. Actually, did we only do Mandy? Mandy took forever to get through, but it was good. Oh, and we did read, we did read, um, we, I was gonna do Banner in the Sky because it is for this curriculum, but my kids were just not into it. So I didn't do it. We did do, um, a couple stories from Hidden Tales of Eastern Europe. And I liked that. And then we are currently going through, and we did do some of the Christmas stuff in here. We didn't finish though, because I was really feeling terrible. Um, what's the other one here? Oh, missionary stories from around the world. They're just like sh really short, shortened, um, it's just like getting a little bit of a taste of the missionary. So I thought that book was perfect. And then I have read a couple of those um, Little Lights uh, missionary books with them. So that has been great. I feel like um, that has been good. But for the most part, we have now, I, I am gonna still, okay, so we're still gonna be learning. Right now we're taking a pause because we are doing um, an expectant Easter. And uh, so for three weeks, we're just not doing any of this. 
Um, but when we study these countries, uh, I do still make him uh, do some of the travel notebook activities. I just don't make him do all of them. So there's that. So for science, uh, I ended up just pretty much knocking everything off and we pretty much do just do this uh, animal science workbook, which is fine with me. <laughs> like, So what I do is I go through this um, and I copy off pages that are animals in that region or uh, continent and then he reads it and then answers the questions and he really enjoys that as well um, so that's what we're doing for science and that's been working great for my younger ones I'll just talk about torchlight we don't do every single thing in here but we do try to follow some of it and I started bringing in my own materials as well I just kind of use this as I don't even want to say a spine because I mean maybe kind of but I don't even know. I use, uh, we do some of this stuff in here, um, but not always. We always do the literature portion. We do the character building and sometimes we do science, but only if it's um, pretty much Zoe and Sassafras, uh, actually, which we read the first book this past uh, week or two weeks ago, and we just finished it this week. And so I'm like, it, whatever. So we, just read the first Zoe and Sassafras book and we loved it. My kids loved it. They want to keep reading more. So um, we're loving that. And uh, yeah, I do get some of the picture books that it suggests and we read through those. Like, And then I, have, I had purchased um, a few books like just to kind of touch on that area. Okay, because this is Europe, if, if I have shared this book, I shared it, I think the first time I um, did this is when I was doing the Abeka's Twos and Threes program is how I found this book. It's called Kiki's Big Adventures. And I know I shared a ton of them in book hauls. You guys, this book, I love this children's book. It is the cutest thing. And I just feel like it's just, it's just great. I love it. Hi, Jojo. What are you doing? What are you doing? What's that? <gasps> you have my glasses? Anyway, pretty much Kiki's Big Adventures. Love the, that little series. And then um, we have read a couple of the Katie and the, like there was one of her in Scotland, Katie in, I don't know, there was another one I have. And then we have done some of the picture ones, like the art museum ones, which are really good. So I recommend the Katie books. And uh, yeah, I found about, out about those in this. So I, even though I'm not following this exactly how it's saying, I do find it a good resource because I can find a lot of good books in here. I, I think I shared this before, but I made each of my kids a binder and then I bought, um, I purchased these, one of these dividers but they have a pocket on each side which i love so this is their little passport so every time we go to a new country they add in a little thing there was some of them that didn't have one of these stamps so we just didn't um do it i can't remember where i found this i just typed in in google free passport or something like that kids passport and it came up and it comes with um all these little things too that that's what we cut and paste in there so if ours whatever we were learning that week didn't have one of these we just didn't put anything but uh torchlight if you're i can't remember i feel like somebody shared this in the torchlight um no actually this might be one of the work pdf worksheets that it comes with yeah so you pretty much color in where they are and then what i did is i went on to Google Docs and I will find pictures that kind of represent that uh, that country. And then they get to cut them out and paste them into here. And then, um, uh, what is it called? She didn't color this one this time, but most of the time they color these. And this I got from Winter Promise. They have this for every country you visit, visit the traditional clothing they wear. So I would Google a picture 
Um, or I would get it from the library in a book. So then this principle came from the Torchlight Facebook group. Someone had made it and I just love this so much. We don't always, we never color this part in, but, uh, I also just find, um, different things, uh, for that. So an animal, the, the favorite book that we read that week. Um, and then Famous Landmark, and then uh, Foods I Tried. This week we didn't do that. Uh, well, the week that we did this. And then, is that all? I thought I put stuff on the back of that one. Oh, I guess I didn't. And then that's it. So we do these to go along with Torchlight, um, which I like because I feel like it kind of just reinforces any of the information that they learn. And yeah, okay, so let's move on to A Year of Tales. I've kind of dropped that off, which, I'm going to have to go back to because I really love this curriculum. I think it is really great. I, it was just too much for me to do all of it. I told you guys, I get really ambitious. We did get, um, I feel like we did get pretty far. We are going over, um, we still use the scripture cards. Okay, so for science, Torchlight has this little um, thing here, which I really like. This is part of, I'm pretty sure, the PDF download. And... We've only done one of these so far, and it was on the Red Fox, which I found this from supercoloring.com, where you can get all sorts of free coloring sheets. So I highly recommend uh, checking that out. Um, so we did, she did, we did learn about uh, different animals, and then one, a couple weeks we did this. I found this on Teachers Pay Teachers. Because I don't know what we were doing, but we talked about, um, maybe it was when we were talking about the red fox was a mammal. And my, my kids were like, what's a mammal? Which I found the best red fox books ever. I can't even remember the name of it. It was the best. You guys, this was the most beautiful living book about red foxes. I wish I could remember it. If I can, I'm going to link it down below. Because, oh my gosh. I found it at my library just typing in red fox. And it was the most beautiful story. I wish they had something like that on e for every single animal because it was amazing. Uh, anyway, after we read that, I think it, I'm pretty sure it talked about um, that a fox was a mammal in that. And then my kids started asking, what's a mammal? So then we went down this rabbit trail and that's why we didn't do any more animals because we went down this ra rabbit trail where we talked about Oh, that's what it was. Vertebrae and invertebrae. They asked me what that was. So we did that. I found these. I think I found this free on Pinterest or something. Um, and then I, we just did all of these. Uh, and then they glue in if they're warm blooded or cold blooded. So this I found from Teachers Pay Teachers. And then I just printed it on um, Astro Bite paper. So that's kind of what we've been doing for science plus Zoe and Sassafras. So that's been going good. And then. Um, yeah, that's all been going really good now into their individual subjects here. Um, and for Bible, what have we been doing for Bible? We've been doing a lot, you guys. I showed you all the Bible stuff. <laughs> okay, so I couldn't really remember what we were doing for Bible because, like I said, we are doing an expectant Easter. So we've been doing that for Bible. We stopped our bi regular Bible stuff and we've been doing that. And, um, yeah, so we've been kind of doing that, but I brought some of the stuff over that we've gone through before that we are going through this. So, um, like I said, we're still kind of doing the Bible portion of a year of tales. So whatever character we're working on, I will pull it from this book, this book. I have another book, which I forgot to grab. Um, so yeah, and the other book. Uh, we're also going through Indescribable. We read some of these before, but you guys, I told you, I like to start and stop things. We're probably halfway through this now. Um, and we're going through this book, which is an Abeka Reader, Growing Up Where Jesus Lived. You guys, I really love Abeka Readers, okay? I just think they're so good. This, this is a good book. I highly, highly recommend this. And we're also going through the answers books for kids. We're on volume two. So we, we kind of do a question almost every day. We've already went through volume one. And I just started doing that one when two months ago or something. So we're on book two now. And then you guys, I found this treasure. 
I think two years ago, either at the library for in their little, um, where you can purchase books, you know how people donate books and then the library will sell them. It was either from that or a thrift store. So I paid less than a dollar for this and this is a treasure. How much is this normally? Oh, $13, that's not bad. You guys, this, okay. DK's The Children's Illustrated Bible. I, we have, we've only gone, we've barely went through this, okay? Because I just started this. And I love it because all of the history in it, before you even get into creation, it tells you all of this amazing information, okay? And after reading Mama Bear Apologetics, I was just like, I need my kids to know the history of things because then it's just so much richer. So all of this, and this is all, and, it's, and it talks about the tabernacle, okay? I learned things. I learned so much just from this little thing, okay? I was so happy. Where was that? Oh, Old Testament. Then it gets into Old Testament, it has map here. And then, is that where, it, then it talked about the tabernacle. So, all this great information. I love this book so much so far. Um, I mean, we're only a couple pages in, but I love it. Now on to, y'all, uh, let's talk about Joy, okay? You guys, she sits here and watches her siblings do school, and she says to me, she just turned three, okay? And I've, she has been able to hold a pencil correctly since she was two years old. <laughs> like, I don't even know where she got this from. Like, I never taught her. She just picked up a pencil, and she's left-handed, which is so cute, like her daddy. So it was really kind of strange for me because I'd, like, put it in her right hand, and she'd switch it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you're left-handed because <laughs> all my other kids are right-handed. So it's kind of interesting to see that. But I had to print her off her own little school because she, and look at, she's already done this much of it. She loves this so much. And this, I, Justice already went through this. This was the JVA's um, math. I told you guys a while back that, I think I told you that she was running a sale on her Teachers Pay Teachers and she was doing, um, there's like a three bundle. She has like math, uh, literacy, and then handwriting. And I bought all of the PDFs um, for like less than 20 bucks. And, or probably, even, yeah, I know it was less than, I don't know how less, but it was less than $20. And Justice flew through this, loved it. And Joy loves it too. And I like it because there's no handwriting involved in it. It's just coloring and circling and just perfect for her and she loves it and she's just so cute because she just wants to do school okay so oh and i'm also doing some let's play school stuff with her so what did she do the other day i can't remember what i had her doing the other day but i have so many let's play school resources um that I give her stuff like sorting and stuff like that from when we were doing the subscription. I still have those, so I pull that stuff out and have her do it. Um, so she does some Let's Play School. And then you guys, she joins us with the around the world stuff. So because she loves all of that. She doesn't technically listen to, sometimes she will, but she doesn't always listen to the um, chapter books that we're going through. But if we read picture books or anything like that, or anytime we're doing cut and paste, she's for it. So I have to, those torchlight um, pages I shared with you, I have to print her out stuff too, because she's always like, if I don't, she's like, mommy, where's mine? And then I have to go print her out one because she wants to join in. So she doesn't have to, she wants to. So I let her. Moving on to Justice. Now Justice, um, he had finished the all of the JDA stuff. He finished all of her stuff so fast because he loved it that we moved on to um, uh, the Explode the Code. And he's already on book C, you guys. He loves this. I feel like he's already, he's probably like a quarter of the way through this thing. He loves this book. And then uh, I told you before when we were doing the JDA uh, curriculum that I had purchased the Good and the Beautiful level 
um, the new Good and the Beautiful, Simply Good and Beautiful level K math, and that he needed his handwriting to be better to be able to do this. Well, now with all the practice that we've been doing, he's doing this. And this kid, <laughs> you guys, there there were days he did this like four lessons okay because the lessons are so short i can't wait i cannot wait to use the new one with faith and isaac because currently they're doing the good and the beautiful old level one and sometimes i just don't want to do it because i just feel like it it's i like it but it just takes longer than this okay and my kids like it they do like it so but we are going to finish that and we're almost done. I guess I'll just talk about that because Faith and Isaac, I paired together and um, they are both, um, they are almost done with the first book in level one. Okay, so back to Justice. Uh, he loves this. He's he's on lesson 48, okay? This is, this is like about the same lesson that my other kid. And they started theirs before his. I'm like, how how is he already on 48? And he and they started their math before him. I don't know because he does multiple lessons a day because he loves it so much. It's funny. Now, on to Faith and Isaac with you guys. Logic of English. Okay, can we just talk about logic of English? Where have you been all my homeschool life? Where have you been? I don't know why. I never heard of Logic of English until last year or this cup this year. No, it was last year when I was picking out homeschool curriculum. But you guys, I love, 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 love this curriculum so much, so much, so much. I, I can't even explain to you how much I love this. Okay. I could do a whole review on this and, and my love for this curriculum. Okay, first of all, I did start all of my kids off uh, Justice, Isaac, and Faith together. Justice did pretty good. He did a couple, um, he went pretty far with us. I can't remember where he stopped. I mean, it was somewhere in the beginning, but that was like, I think he just needs to work on Explode the Code and stuff, and then I will do it with him. And Faith and Isaac were on the same level up until maybe halfway through A, and then I could just see that Faith just needed to move on where Isaac needed to just slow down. So Isaac is almost finished. This is where he is, where this little tab is. So he's only got, I think only three or four lessons left of this. And he's doing really good. He's reading, he's reading like CBC words. And I'm so excited. And the other, uh, the other day, I just felt like he just needs more practice with the CBC words. So I, once again, pulled some stuff from Let's Play School, uh, like these. She had these, I got these from her Play and Learn. And we use dot markers and he reads all the words. I give him like a whole bunch at a time and he reads them. And that's what we're doing currently the past two days we've done that. And, but he's almost finished with this. And then Faith is almost halfway through B. And you guys, if you have been following my journey with Faith and our reading journey, <laughs> you guys, I felt like a failure. I thought it was me. It was not me. It was not my daughter. It was, it was the curriculum. And not to diss any of the curriculums. Those curriculums are great. They're good. When I was teaching those other curriculums, in my brain, I would sit here and be like, how is this going to teach her to read? And listen, I had taught, I was in special ed for reading when I was younger. And if I would have had this program, I would have been reading. I'm not even joking. This program is so good. So, 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 so good. And it's because it teaches the logic behind it. The lo That's why it's called logic of English. And I'm a logical thinker. And I started reading this book, The Eight Great Smarts, okay? And then they have The Eight Great Smarts of Homeschool. I'm currently in the middle of both of those. And when I read about Logic Smart Kids, I it clicked. That is why the other curriculums did not work for us. So it was the curriculum and not us. And it was just, and there's nothing wrong with the curriculums. They're great. 
It's just our brains do not work that way. We are logic smart people and we need logic to understand things. Otherwise we're like, I don't get it. <laughs> like if it's not explained to me logically, I just, I don't understand. I don't understand, I have no idea. So this has been so good. And I, you guys, I have looked, I picked up books for her to read and I look at all these and I'm like, you can read all of these words in this book, you can. And I'm so excited. And then, my kids are being crazy in the background. Then, um, of course, once again, um, let's play school. So Faith just learned um, a couple new phonics things. So I grabbed some of, where is it? Some of, I don't know where it is, you guys. I have a whole bin here full of just some of our uh, let's play school stuff. And this is just stuff I kind of uh, use sometimes when, you know, maybe we don't feel like doing a lesson or I want to do school that day, but I don't want it to, you know, we got, we have something else to do. Like yesterday we ended up, um, going to grandma's house and it was kind of like a spur of the moment thing. So we still did some let's play school and got some school in. Um, oh, so let's play school has in their play and learn. I'm pretty sure this is from play and learn. Play and read. Play and read. I don't know. They have, uh, she created these little things. These are so cute. I think this is in the spring or summer play and read. And they're little macaroons. And we just learned the two uh, letter A sounds. So there's A Y and A I. And Lo and behold, I just love logic of English because I just feel like the way they taught this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest thing. And then we spell out words and I'm like, she knew how to spell this because they taught the spelling rule. So, and I know some of the other ones teach spelling rules too. Like sing, spell, read, and write taught it and so did the good and the beautiful. But there was, just, there's just something about this cur curriculum that I don't know, it clicked with our brains. So, um, cause like I said, I'd be teaching her it and I'm like, I don't know how this is going to teach her to read, <laughs> but I never had that question with logic of English ever. Okay. You guys, anyway, so we have these little cards and I laminated them and she reads the words and then she has to find the picture that goes to the word to make the little macaron. So we've been doing that. So logic of English, five stars all the way. Love, 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 love it. I'm, I'm debating. I don't know if we will go through just foundations or all the way up through essentials. I've heard that people just use foundations and then they move on to other things. So I'm not sure how we're going to do that, but oh my gosh, I think she will definitely finish B this year and then um, maybe uh, B, C and D next year, or maybe we'll even get into some C this year because she's just flying through this curriculum and it's just going so good. So, uh, and then I already talked about math with them and I think that's it. Another thing that I started doing is a morning menu. And, um, I started doing this because, um, I bought these menus uh, when I picked out our curriculum for next year. You guys, I was, I'm one of those crazy people who in December, I start looking for new homeschool curriculum. <laughs> the end of December, January, okay? I start looking and I already pretty much know what we're gonna be using. So I bought these then, and now I feel like everyone's talking about them, but I bought them and, and I've kind of been using them a little bit in our homeschool, but I know they're really big on Instagram. And um, I'm pretty sure actually in a year of tales, people use these, uh, but um, we are going to be using this for our next year's curriculum. Uh, but there was also, I decided to make my own things and print them out for right now to go over. So one of the things is our house rules, like things my kids just need to constant reminder of. Uh, the four basic skills, which is from a book that I read and then um, personal information, which I'm not going to share that page with you, which is our address and phone numbers. And then we are going over, I want my kids to learn um, the books of the Bible. So I have the Old Testament and the New Testament. 
And then I have, I ended up putting the um, expected Easter stuff in this as well. So and there's our picture study for that uh, for this week. Um, so there's all that. I love the morning menu and I just feel like it's very, I love it because there's so many things in one place and I just have to flip it and you can customize it. I know a lot of people um, ha give each of their kids their own morning menu. I, I told you I'm a penny pincher, so I'm like, I'm not buying each of my kids one of these and we don't need to do that every day. So the things that I felt like we needed to work on are, you know, the things I made and printed out. So these pretty much all I made except for the stuff in Expected Easter. And then our new curriculum that we do for this coming year is going to go into here as well, which is why I bought these. So I'm pretty sure that was all it. And I'm so sorry this video was so long and chatty, but... Um, I'll probably do another video on read alouds that we have done because uh, we did so many good ones and we have loved so many of them. And I just feel like I have found little ways to just constantly sneak in more read alouds with my kids. I just came up with another idea of how I'm going to be able to read another book to them, <laughs> which maybe I'll share that in another video. But if you've stick, stuck around for this long, thank you so much for watching. I hope any of this was helpful and if you like content like this be sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video all right guys have a blessed day